In this week's vlog, you'll find a hodgepodge of our summer days, including Friday night family campouts, fun times at the local drive-in theater, a glimpse into one of my patriotic holiday shopping halls, an outdoor chat with me and Ezra, picking blueberries and learning about the herb mullen, and a tour of one of my flower gardens. Hope y'all enjoy this week's vlog. Hey guys, so it's Friday and I um, have finished mowing and doing my daily housework and the boys have finished school for the week. And so we are kicking off the weekend with our weekly family camp out in the living room and a movie night, except this week I am not staying for the actual family camp out part. I am going over to my sister-in-law's for a little um, get together. We're gonna have some treats and some, some drinks and catch up for a little bit because it's been a while since I've seen her. So um, anyway, I am headed to the store now to grab some pizza and maybe some chips and a little sweet something, I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, that's what we're up to tonight. Hey guys, so it is Saturday evening and we are on our way to the drive-in. Um, we're gonna meet some friends over there and have a little picnic. Uh, we usually try to go to the drive-in once a year, something like that. Um, and we're gonna lay some blankets out in front of the car and just watch a movie tonight and do some fun with the, with the kiddos. You guys excited? Yeah. Happy faces? We, had, we could have done this earlier, but because of Corona, we could not. COVID-19. Yeah, yes, so they have opened the, the drive-in up for the season. Um, I'm not sure how, I'm not sure what precautions they're taking, but we'll see when we get there. Anyway. To keep your car uh, able to start at the end of the show. What are you doing, Zay? As far as what we're playing next weekend, we don't really know, I know what we are. We're going to play Days of Thunder next weekend. Days of Thunder. Uh, this is a <laughs> They're not lying to you. Uh, again, that will be next weekend here at the State Line, Days of Thunder. Uh, as most of you probably notice, we're playing... <laughs> just got back from um, one of my two week Aldi shopping hauls and on my way home I decided that I was gonna stop at Dollar General and Big Lots and see if they had any um, 4th of July home decor stuff on sale and I bought a few things to put in my box for next year when I decorate the house and I just thought I would flip the camera around and show you what I got. So here are the things that I bought at Dollar General and Big Lots today. Um, everything was on sale and discounted, I think about 25% off. So this is there's a little pinwheel, so it goes outside. Maybe I'll put it in one of the gardens and it spins when the wind blows. And then I got these bows and I'm not exactly sure what I'll do with them, but I think they were like a dollar or something, so not too big of an expense. Um, this I'll probably put in the entryway because it says welcome home. I think it's pretty cute. Um, and then this wreath, it's like made out of burlap. Um, I'll put that on the front door and I really liked this. I thought this was pretty. It's like these little blocks that bend and it says home. Um, and then this I may put on the wall somewhere. God bless my home. And this last little thing, let freedom ring. You can twist it like different directions. It's kind of offset little blocks. Anyway, so. I got all of these things and I got a little bin to put them in to store them in until next year and after 4th of July next year I'll go to the stores again and see if they have anything discounted and add to this little collection. So I did want to say one thing that Dean thinks is very funny about all of this 4th of July home decor is that almost all of it, if not all of it, is made in China. Like he just thought that was kind of funny. So. I thought I would share that with you. His sixth sense of humor. Anyway, hope you guys are having a good day. Bye. Hey guys, Megan here. So it's Monday morning. 
Um, it's about mid-morning now, and I am just sitting out on my front porch, and I'm having a cup of coffee and listening to the frogs in the pond, um, and the birds are singing, and so this is just a nice little way to enjoy my morning. I'm sitting in a rocking chair, so the camera's moving because I'm rocking. Um, anyway, I just thought that I would check in with you guys and give you a little update about our day and what's gonna happen today. Um, sorry for all of the work equipment down here on our porch. Um, over there. <laughs> um, Dean has been working on cutting wood for our fireplace. He's building in a fireplace kind of thing. We're going to put a wood stove inside of it and so he's got all of this out here for that. Um, and we've also been cutting trim on rainy days to put the baseboard down in the house. So our front porch is covered with um, tools. Anyway, um, so Mondays are kind of like a really chill and relaxed day for us. We only do four days of school a week, and so Mondays are our extra day. And so what I mean by that is we do all of our school subjects, usually Tuesday through Friday, but our our math and spelling it has like five days of the week is the way it's laid out, so it's really um, more simple and just not, not as overwhelming. So the boys do that on Mondays. Um, I call it our light day or an extra day, and so they um, mostly get to play and stuff after they get that done. It's a nice way to start the week. We slowly build some schoolwork in, and then we have fun doing other things um, on Monday. And it works out really well because they usually have a new concept that they're learning in math. So if we only have those two little subjects on that day, if that concept is a little more difficult or they need a little bit more practice, it's nice that we can spend the time really learning that new lesson and not have to um, have like a time constraint that day. So anyway, it's just helpful to pick Monday to do our light day and get those two subjects out of the way and then um, we can get to our chores or anything that we didn't get to from the weekend. Um, and then they have just the day to play. So it's, it's kind of nice. Mondays are really laid back. And I usually don't schedule a whole lot of online work for Mondays, um, which is why it's mid-morning and I'm sitting out here still drinking my coffee. I take forever to drink my coffee. It's usually cold and I have to reheat it like two or three times <laughs> before I get it done. I'm just really slow at it. Um, anyway, so the boys are inside right now. I've told them what their chore is for the day and they know what they're supposed to do for school. So... Sorry, our air conditioner just kicked on, so if you hear that, that's what that is. Anyway, they know what they're supposed to do for school today, and they know what their chore is, so they're supposed to be in there doing that. I'm sitting outside and drinking my coffee and just relaxing. Hi, you! There's one of them right now who's not inside doing his chores, but he already did his school, so he's good. <gasps> you got tomatoes from A the A ton! Show the camera. <gasps> Nice. Are you going to go put them inside on the counter and let them, or by the windowsill, and let yep, them cool. get a little bit more red? Well, you can have one. Well, I'll eat one when it gets red. How about that? <laughs> Some are red. Some are orange, yeah. See, this is red. Yep, a little bit. All right, go stick them on the, on the windowsill so they get really red. Um, anyway, where was I at? So I'm going to sit out here, and I'm going to finish my coffee. Then I'm gonna go inside and finish up some chores that I didn't get to on Saturday. Saturday was a busy day. Um, Dean was with the church doing some community projects for some people um, that needed some help. And then we had a festival, a summer festival in town. And then we went to the drive-in with some friends. I need some help opening the door. I can't open it with these tomatoes. Okay, uh, you wanna put them in your shirt? Come here. Let me switch the camera around here. Come here, stick your oh. shirt like that. Oh, you're putting them in your pockets. Okay, that works. Anyway, um, so Saturday was a busy day, and I didn't get as many of our, um, my normal house cleaning chore things done that I wanted to, so I need to vacuum because my floor is a wreck, and um, I don't know what else I need to do, but I'm going to go inside and do some chores, and I'm going to prep lunch and dinner, and then when all of that's done and we've eaten lunch and we've gone for a walk together after lunch because it's a nice day today, I will probably head inside and get some work stuff done. Ah, you're tipping mama back in this chair. <laughs> Mom said after lunch, me and Hall is going to go to Donald Jones, and I'm going to buy a pack of gum and four bubble pack sticks, and I'm going to give one to the boys. Yes, this guy has some money that he's earned from his Eight dollars. chores. Yes, and he saved it, and you're going to get four bubble wands so that you can share them with your brothers, right? Because well, you're a I nice give, brother. Well, I'm going to give 
one to them. They each get one, and you get one. Yeah. And then you're going to buy a pack of gum, because you me. love gum, just yeah. for you. No yeah, bros because, allowed. Um, yeah, because that will waste all my dollars. Okay, what else are you going to buy? Mm. Anything else, or is that it? That was, that's it, because that would waste all of my dollars. Oh, so you want to save some of your money. Okay, that's yeah, a good I'm plan. Yeah, I'm going to have more. Yeah, you're working so hard gonna, for it. Yeah, so now I'm going to have a $10. Ah, oh, you're going to do some more chores to earn some more money? Buy, yeah. buy a Nerf gun. Buy a Nerf gun? <gasps> yeah, all right. Okay. There's a Nerf gun that you all been waiting at, at um, the baby's head. <laughs> and he didn't have enough money to buy it. He didn't. It was $10, so I just decided to buy it, not for him. Okay, well, the baby sale is coming okay. up in September. What he's talking about is there's like a children's consignment sale that we do every single year. Um, and I don't normally sell the boys used clothes, but I do buy the clothes there. Um, because packing up and consigning clothes is a lot of work. Somebody is opening our window. I don't know who that is. It's, it's a Uriah. <laughs> anyway, um, that's what he's talking about. There are toys there, and they found a Nerf gun last year that they wanted, but they didn't have their money, so they didn't get it. Um, because mom just goes for clothes. <laughs> Anyway, that's what he's talking about. But when that sale comes up, I will actually do a video and show you how I plan out my boys' clothes for, it's like a half a year that we do. The sale's twice a year, so I do half of the year each time, and I will show you how I organize and do all of their clothes then. But when he said baby sale, that's what he's talking about. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this section of the video up. Um, that's pretty much it for Monday. Uh, Dean has to take the boys to piano lessons tonight. The three older ones take piano. And I am jumping on a Skype call with my friend Caitlin from The Locust and Honey. We usually meet once a month and we chat about business and blog stuff and life and all that good stuff. So anyway, um, I hope you guys are having a good day. And I'm going to get off here, drink my coffee, go get some chores done, and get some, get some work done. Okay, bye. Talk to you later. What you doing, Jay? I'm Hi. Blackberries. Mmm. Yep. Is that so, Isaiah, do you want to tell us why it's like middle to late July and you're in all black, long sleeves and pants? Well, this is um supposed to be part of my Halloween costume for um Halloween. I'm I'm gonna keep it a secret until Halloween. Okay, but you've been dressing up as this person, yes. and that's why you're been in those making clothes. Making small videos, um, that it's funny. They're definitely funny. I'm always the creature, and it's um stealing the stuff from Judah. But you'll see my full costume. This is just what we're using for the videos. I'm gonna have a morph suit for Halloween, so you'll see it on the Halloween video. Okay. All right. Well, let's pick some blackberries. Oh, you've got, it's weird. Oh, look at all of those. A lot of them are still red and not ready yet, but there are a lot that are ready. And this is a pond that we are going to come and take some water lilies from and put in our pond um, whenever we're ready to put water lilies in our pond. We have a bunch of, let me show you guys, right here, this stuff right there all of this stuff sticking up that's called parrot feather and we have that in our pond and it's very invasive and so it's all over the pond in fact it doesn't even look like we have a pond because it just looks like it's covered in grass so we have to get rid of that um, because you have to manage it it is like an aquatic plant but you have to manage it so it doesn't take over and i would like some water lilies put in the pond but these can also take over as you can see this is like an abandoned pond and the water lilies have taken over. So there's a cute little bridge to a little island in the middle with rock. This used to be really pretty, but no one has maintained it, so it's just kind of covered. Um, so anyway, I would like to come and pull some of these water lilies out and put them in our pond so that we have some of the parrot feather and we have water lilies and then there are some other aquatic plants that are already in our pond. I think we've got some arrowhead plants and some other things, but anyway. I will come here to get my free water lilies. <laughs> we have permission from the owners of this property anyway, but are you picking me some berries, Hampton? That's right. Yes. <laughs> oh wow, look at all those. Nice. Yes. 
this is usually the place we come and get cobbler. It's close to the road, but it's like the opposite side of where all the cars are, so the gas and whatever doesn't come as far over. Ezra, you've got berry juice all over your hands. Wow, those are sweet. They're really warm and sweet. Ezra, do you think the bear come over here and eat the berries? Bear oh, yeah. love blackberries. I know. Mm hmm You think they come and eat the blackberries? The black bears love blackberries. They do. We should leave them some. Oh, I can see a ton of back still. Mm-hmm. There are them. a bunch back there. I don't think you can go back that far. Too many brambles. They'll get you. Mom, are there wasn't spikes on if there wasn't spikes on this, then then we would come down there and eat it. That's right. We would get way back in there. We'll need to plant some blackberries at our house, and we'll maybe plant yeah, them so we can right. access both sides of the bush. We'll, well see. we have them close to our house. But they are close and to our right house. And they're right here. Right here. Mm -hmm. And we did find some. Yeah. All right. Can you guys say bye? Bye. 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 So I just wanted to pop on here again and show you guys this plant. This is called Mullen. This is a really sad looking one. He's not one that I would harvest, but this is what it looks like. Mullen likes to grow in really um, like not great soil. So this soil is really dry and it's not very nourished. But Mullen does well in places like that. So. You can use all parts of this plant. You can dig up the root. You'll probably do that in the fall because in the fall all of the nourishment's going to the root and that's the best time to get it. And a lot of times people use that for um, joint issues in their back. It's really good for that. You can harvest the leaves. The leaves, I don't know if you can see this or not, but they're really soft and fuzzy. I don't know if you guys can see how fuzzy they are. Um, but that is used for respiratory issues because in your lungs you have all these tiny little hairs and they, those hairs move and they work everything up out of your lungs. They're called cilia in, on the cells inside your lungs. And so a lot of people a long time ago used to practice herbalism following what's called the doctrine of signature. So if an herb looked like a certain body part, often it has properties that are beneficial for that area of the body. And so mullen is true to the doctrine of signatures with its lung benefits and then you can harvest the flowers you have to be careful sometimes there are bees in there but you can harvest the flowers and they have a lot of resin they're super sticky Let's see pinch it oh there's a seed or bugs bugs not a seed <laughs> anyway they're really sticky and you can use that for um, the easing inflammation and things if you have an ear infection a lot of people will infuse that into oil and put that oil in their ears when they have an ear infection you got me a pond flower. I had to battle the frogs for it. They wanted one. <laughs> they go. wanted that lily. That's pretty. Look at that. Let's see if I can get a good picture. Isn't that pretty? I actually think there are several different species of water lilies, and I don't know which one this one is, but it's so pretty. I love that flower. We'll have it in our pond one day, huh, Rye? <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Hey guys, so it is Thursday and I wanted to give you a quick little tour of this garden that Dean and I dug up early this spring and we replanted with a bunch of different plants. So a lot of these plants are perennials, they'll come back year after year, but there was a lot of extra space where they haven't grown full size and filled out, so I put some annuals in to fill in the space. So this is my David Austin rose. It's called the Poet's Wife, and it's this lemon-smelling bright yellow rose. And it's gotten pretty big. I don't know if you can see right there. It's all over here, and then it stretches out that way. Behind it, which it's not flowering right now, is, oh man, my brain just went blank, and I can't remember the name of it. Dianthus, maybe? It's like a bluish purple, really tall flower. And then these are white foxgloves. There are two of them. Um, the bluish purple flowers you see right here are, I'm trying to think what those are. It's a type of lobelia and it's just an annual. So those will die at the end of the year. And then we have um, some annuals, like all of these little plants. 
Um, those are zinnias, I believe. And then all of these are cosmos. And so those are annuals. They're just filling in some space. I cannot remember the name of this thing. It's an annual as well, so it's just filling in some space. Um, we've got a dwarf Alberta spruce right there. It'll get really big, so I've left a lot of room around it. And we have a morning glory vine along the back of the shop. You can kind of see that it's laying down. It needs something to climb on. And that just kind of came up. I actually don't even know. It's not blooming any colors, so I don't know what it's oh. going to be. Um, we planted some marigolds the boys brought home from church. And I've got some pastas. These are looking really rough. Um, I'm thinking, Mom. Dean and I are thinking that it's because we transplanted them. And so their leaves are just it's just going through like a little adjustment period. I don't know. So there are three right there. Okay, and then here I've got like a ground cover growing in our little walkway here. I cannot remember what these are called, but it gets these little blue flowers. Can you see that? Sorry, my shadow's in the way. And it's like, it really is like a carpet. Like you can just step right on it and it's really, um, really soft. So I filled in over here with more um, zinnias, I believe. And we've got a yellowish colored little conifer. I think that's called a golden globe arb something, arb or something. Um, and then there's some creeping jenny. So I've got some yellow over here, more hostas, the little post here with my birdhouse is covered with morning glory and it's supposed to be I cannot remember the name of it either. It's like a bright blue morning glory, but it hasn't flowered at all. And it's looking really rough. So I don't think that area is getting enough water for the morning glory. I don't know. Anyway, we've got some Elijah blue grass here. And then that, I don't know what that's called. That again is an annual. I wanted some yellow on this side. So I bought that and I don't remember what it's called, but it's done really well this whole season. And then I have some yarrow over there. So if you can't tell already, the color theme of this garden is white, yellow, and blue. So we have lots of yellows, yellow in the hostas, greens, blues, lots of white flowers. Um, yeah, so every area, there's a different color blooming at a different time. So right now we have whites and yellows and I really thought the morning glory would be blooming over there for some blue and we have the lobelia here that's blue but also the dianthus i think again that's what that's called i could be totally wrong on that but that's supposed to be blue as well so anyway i thought i would give you guys this little update on our garden area we really need a weed eat around here it's looking rough <laughs> but this is what it is right now and i need to put some water in my bird bath because it's very empty but anyway hope you guys enjoyed this little glimpse at one of our garden areas that we worked on this year. Hey guys, so I'm just jumping on here to wrap up this week's video. I hope you've enjoyed getting this behind the scenes glimpse at our lives over this past week. Um, if you have any comments about anything you've seen or any questions that you have, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I'll either reply to you there or I'll answer your questions in an upcoming video. So thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you guys have a great week. See you in the next one. Bye.